Today I'm going to paint Newport Beach. A beautiful sunrise. Welcome to Riffsley Trickfinger. The painting channel. Not for painters. For art lovers. Grab a drink, settle back and watch me paint. Seascapes, landscapes and rock pools. Or from the comfort of your home. If you love art, you'll love Riffsley Trickfinger. Channel for art lovers. This beautiful photograph was taken by Richard Howard, sunset of Newport, overlooking the beach. I've masked off the paper there and I've put paper around it so I wouldn't spill or splash paint on the paper. Nothing looks worse than a big spill of paint on the edge of your paper. So I made sure that was well protected. I'm trying to capture that beautiful sunset, that the orange, the red. When I looked at it, it looked like it looked like a turner. It looked like a painting. I thought, well, it already looks like a painting. I'll try and copy that. I'll try and capture that. Of course, it's, it's a painting. The photograph is good on its own as a photograph. I'm not going to try and make it look like a photograph. I'm just going to enjoy the colours here. I blocked in the, the sky and the sand and lastly the silhouette of the trees, the buildings and the bushes. I went back in, added a few highlights, added the surf, and pulled the paper off. Now when I put that masking tape there around the the image. I used a sealer varnish to, to seal it so I wouldn't get a lot of bleed. There was a little bit of bleed. Probably watered down the varnish a little bit too much when I sealed it, but it wasn't too bad. It did stop most of it, but I would have liked to have had a really hard edge on it. Then if you're going to try and sell a painting, you know, show it to someone that looks very professional. I did water down that varnish. Maybe next time I'd leave it thick. But I do find when I paint over the varnish, it looks a little bit different. You can see where the varnish is. I need to paint quite thickly over any of the varnish on the paper. Now after this, it's sticky. I work into it with, with a black pencil, just putting a little more detail to the end of the black there. That is paints grey, actually very dark blue. using a, a very dark black pencil, not a normal black pencil which tends to look a bit grey. You can use charcoal pe pencil, come out very black but it will smudge. I'm using, can I read it, Faber-Castell, Schwartz Black. Schwartz Black. When you go to the art shop you can dry them. I pick up a whole lot and see how black they are. Pick the blackest one. Thank you. <laughs> 